Miracle Monkey King, Who is it? GH Naga. With Miracle turning up to this top lane, maybe they can look to try and turn this around and make sure that MP don't have the control and the advantage. Comes to pounce. FG already falling low. Ooh. Like a tough spot for him to get out of. Ah, uh, bam. There we go. He has got the battery assault, so that's going to cause some issues for the chase down. But yeah, with the Orb of Venom on Miracle, they've got the slow. One more swipe with the stick will do it. And Miracle picks himself up first blood as he makes himself apparent in the top lane. MSS already picking up a lot of positive action in that bottom lane. On mid, AUI going aggressive. Yeah, with the wraparound as well from SVG. GH, he may be out of answers. Miracle's come in. Boundless Truck, I believe, is still unavailable, and now he's going to be allowed to get the kill. Tries to get the aggro over, isn't going to work, so we'll lose his life in return. Miracle, looking to build up the Jinji Mastery stacks. He's got it up, jumps onto the tree with a Primal Spring, closes the gap, couple more snaps. We'll take it as Miracle does manage to clean up a double kill in return. This is looking like a very well laid out laning stage by Team NP. Going mid lane. I'll make a go here. Is the double damage rune enough? It looks like it should be with the boundless strike as well. One more touch will bring down Aoi, but Miracle, ooh, he does get it, but again, we're seeing these trades. Miracle hits level six for this fight. He's very close to breaking that XP gap, but he may not even need it. I'm just going to open straight up with the boundless strike on the jewel. There's nothing that MP could do quick enough to stop it. Mind Control gets the success. Now we'll be chased down, but Miracle's just hit six as well with that kill. Lays down the Wukong's command. The Illusion's bringing SVG down low. 1437 gets the grave out. The there we go. Wonderful. Oh, so rude. With the haste and such, they'll take it. The same time, though, down on the bottom lane, MSS came back in, and with the help of 1437, do that. And uh, bottom lane again, Liquid constantly pressuring the lanes. Even just Coddle alone is being very active down here. But... Already the fun beginning with this Radiant Snaga. We have the Illusion just whittling SVG down and Miracle and Kuroki coming for the finish. Yeah, MSS will be there with a the return with the Power Strike and the Epicenter. He'll be able to get himself a solo kill onto Miracle and Aoi. Been trying to find those picks now that they've seen what happens. Like the, the, the great backup. Bottom lane here, a perfect pick for MP as GH comes out a little bit too far with the Naga. Right down on the bottom half. He did have well, he had Mind Control and Matuma Mana Kuroki on the way, but MP would just have to jump in quick enough. Miracle trying to get the Wukong's command out, but the Battery Assault just cancelling the cast animation. As MP pick a second, down bottom, they're not done yet. Aoi looking for the rundown onto Mind Control, and Envy with the ultimate will take it. Matuma Man goes for the raise TP out, but Liquid, they've already lost three. Looks like Liquid is just going to fall back and play. I mean, they've been playing a greedy fan or Okay, they managed to get the jump in immediately nice onto pick. the back, and they do. They get the dazzle. Great way to start the fight. Mind Control heads back. Miracle from the tree line. Throws down the Wukong's command. They've taken down Aoi as well. This is exactly what Liquid were waiting for. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, even with MSS moving around the tree oh, line, it looks like they, yeah. Yeah, the pings are coming out. They know he's jumping around here. The rocket flare will just be off point, in fact. He's out the south, and the wraparound's coming in for Liquid. There's the jump immediately, taking out the Ursa. Now with the song, just assessing the situation, looking to try and control MP, but he's quick with the blink. He'll get himself back out to safety. Straight up to the high ground. The song will be there from GH. He does have his team behind him. who are trying to make their way around from the sidelines. SVG in with a hook shot. Cogs to block Liquid away. Will force Liquid away from this. They know that the song's down. They do anything with that knowledge. They're jumping forward, looking for GH. Doctorine Radiance Hill, though, and he's duking it around the tree line. MSS comes in with a stun onto Miracle. And just forward as well, but Miracle's going to be allowed to get away. Matuma Man trying to focus the anti mage, doesn't quite have the damage to bring him down, but they've already taken down two. Radiant's MSS, middle of the sandstorm, but they have the vision. He tries to get himself away with the Burrow Strike over. He'll make it for the time being, but Miracle just reaching over the cliff there with his staff takes down a third. Gem hits the deck. Good on the anti mage. Not too uh, unhappy with the pressure in lanes as he will continue to be able to clean up Radiant's and get that farm as he's picked up the butterfly on top of the MKB now complete as well. Very, very big indeed. The illusions being sent across towards that top Radiant's lane though. And again, the range racks being pushed down on the bottom. GH is able to claim the top tower. Second set of racks exposed. Three prong push. There's illusions going in mid. So Four much the pressure. Top. Illusions bottom. Real Naga mid. You can't even go in the Naga. He's going to sleep. While Matu goes oh to the top Oh my right. goodness, yeah, locking NP in place while they just, all they could do is watch. Now they'll jump in, immediately bringing Matu down low, but he's into the creep. He's going to be fine. MSS building up the epicenter and they'll take mind control. Okay, not Matu bad. Matu rides his way out on the creep wave. He'll be all right. But yeah, bringing down the Legion may put a stop to, to what Liquid are doing, but just this illusion spam consistently coming in, looking away at the range racks, bringing them down and down and down. It was the right idea going for that sleep that song it racks play but they just weren't 
it, they weren't fast enough about it. If both Legion and Lifestealer were instantly on the racks, like if Mind Control blinks in and hits with the Lifestealer, Excellent. they get the melee racks, but felt like there was a moment of hesitation where it was like, oh, GH just did something really good, let's get in there, whereas it should have been like coordinated where he sleeps as they're running in. Either way, situation still looks pretty good for Liquid. They lose a Legion commander. They have lost the Aegis and all, but they're still keeping all the lanes pushed in. This is just one of those classic Naga games. You're NP, you it's can't leave your base. You've got to oh, constantly just play Illusion Hunter right now. And anytime you try and push out one lane, another lane pops up. It's whack-a-mole. You, you solve one problem, two more pop up. Keep of the light with the Ags complete as well. Now, big items coming out for the side of Liquid. So those objectives they've been able to take. Kuroki is out on his own. SS not spotting him out yet, of course. The rocket flare. Ooh, we'll actually clip him there. So now MSS knows this is a chance to go, but again, a little bit off the mark there with the burrow strike. Kuroki is going to be able to walk away. In fact, MSS himself needs to be a bit careful. All right, Envy comes in, clears the wave out, makes sure that there's no Naga Siren for this altercation. He'll continue to chase Kuroki, who's now recalled Miracle in. Miracle with the Silver Edge, could be there to help try and turn, but already Envy just ripped apart this Keep of the Light. The gem hits the deck, MSS comes forward trying to take it, but Miracle was able to grab it just in time. And they may have lost the Keep of the Light, but they won't lose the gem. Salvage there, Coddle, respawning pretty fast with that respawn talent too. And just look at GH, meanwhile he's just pushing mid, he's just taking a tier 3. And he's getting top range racks slowly. Whatever bit of damage you do here is going to be permanent damage. He'll focus the range racks before the melees, knowing that his team aren't going for a full efforted push right now. Just slowly Excellent. whittling away. Death by a thousand cuts. Absolutely. How do you deal with this if you're MP? They, the Naga, the Iron, GH. We saw him before have a brilliant game. This game, a little bit closer. I mean, we can see him, him and MP on par, but just the amount that he can do, it, it just seems so much more. He's having so much more effect on this game. Got a shadow blade out, find some picks, like sanking. That's and that's been MSS's role. He's got a very tough ass. Like this game really comes down to him and his ability to find pickoffs. He's got to do so much for this game to work for MP and Liquid more than anything have done a really good job of just responding to that that sanking and his aggressive moves. The coddle with the gem and Ag's vision has kind of been a pseudo counter to that sanking shadow blade and uh, and, and AUI on the Ursa just doesn't have like the same mobility. He's got a Blink Dagger, but he can't Shadow Blade around. He can't really always be with the Sand King. Elaine, Miracle. That's, That's been found out. Yeah, Envy coming in, trying to help MSS out here, but with the song, he could be in trouble. The hookshot's going to miss. SVG now as well could be in a bit of a bad spot. Envy tries to get himself out, will blink away. The cogs are out down. They've surrounded GH. MSS trying to build up the epicenter, but the net's there to cancel it. GH turns towards SVG as well, won't get the clock kill. But meanwhile, mid lane, the racks are down. Oh, Liquid, mega. they've got megas. Yeah. That, that was the solution they came up with. Boots are traveled level two on anti mage. TP in oh on the sand game. That burst, it just disappeared. That was less of a bear, more of a Winnie the Pooh. He got absolutely shredded. And NP, they'll try their best. And oh my, what the fuck? <laughs> Envy? Uh, okay. That, I don't think I've seen a big amount of void in my life. He just, can we, I'm sure we got a replay on that. We must do. 8.6k, he did more damage with that one spell than his MMR. That was insane. Oh, no, wow. <laughs> can we see that again and again and again? Who yeah. did he hit with? So he's going on GH. Probably GH. It's GH G is the... It must be. He's got such a massive Jeez mana pool. He, oh, he, oh. No, okay. Oh. Just. Oh. And again. Oh. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. And again. Oh. Oh. The, just, has fallen. What the hell? You couldn't have asked for a better birthday present. No, he that is. Was... Showed up. He's going to rape you. There we go. Oh, we got him on. <laughs> what the? Oh, and look at this. Jackie Mao. He's in. Time He's to throw. Oh, the oh my no. God. No. I didn't mean it, Jackie. I didn't mean the time to throw. Seriously. Come on, Jackie. He hasn't got travel. SVG's recovered the rapier. He's got brown boots. He's got to get himself out of here. He's losing mana. Force him. Do something. Help me. I'm a clock with a rapier. Oh no. Get out of this and miracle. Oh, he wants that rapier. He comes oh, Envy. Ow. No, he can pass it to Envy. Envy's got it again. Envy's got, Envy's got it again. We're good. Okay, so Cole's brought back. 
<laughs> Mind control down for 50 uh, seconds. Does that buy back available? Meanwhile, in the base, they're losing tier fours though. But doesn't no pressure being put on there. Effie jumps in, gets the bash. They've got the bonus strikes as well. GH can't get the solo for time. He's forced back. Now he's got the song. They've got the setup. Miracle. He's going to look to show off the power of the Monkey King against the Wukong Saman. Looks to line it up for the perfect three man battle. He's trying to get it. The clock's down. Envy pulls the Manta. But he's getting bashed up. Can he get out in time? He blinks out of the Wukong Saman to the door, but the towers take him down. The Rapier hits the deck. GG well played. is called. The game is over. <sighs> Never before have I seen such like a classic Envy game. I mean, it was quite a Except calm, relaxing win. game, a bit <laughs> of farm, and then at the end, just a casual ultra kill mana void into a rapier pickup, and then a losing the rapier to a blade mailed legion commander. Liquid looked way too like blase about that. Yeah, that game, I mean, GH you know? is having a bit of a smile. He's like, but oh.